All right, we are currently at a streak of three in a row. Zoltan A down, Lanius B down, Rock A down. Let us see what is next. Here we go. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. Wow, I did that for the Rock A. Uh, no repeats. Three, two, one, random. Stealth C. Okay, well, at least it's not Stealth B. At least it's not Stealth B. And let me check my requests here. Um... Stealth B pilot. Soldier on wants to be a slug. So, Soldier on, we got your slug here. Soldier on slug. Okay, and who else? Do we have any rock or human requests here? Uh, Mantis. Mantis. An unwanted human. I have a couple of unwanted human requests and a bunch of Mantis, apparently. My fellas, my fellow Mantis lovers, I do have one Lanius pilot request, but that's not here, so. Neither of these are unvent, are, are vented humans yet, so. Alright, looks like that's good there. This is a very interesting ship. I think we did have a streak reset on this one in semi-recent memory. After I said I don't actually think this ship is that bad, and then we got kind of wrecked, I believe. It's the stealth is the camo paint, I know. No actual cloaking. Grima with the human, alright. What, you don't like Atreyu from Never Ending Story? The stealth ship has no stealth, I know. But every human is a potential vented human, true. So this ship, um is very funky for those who are not familiar with it. It is a shieldless, cloakless ship that you're relying on. Shield drone and anti-drone is your defense until you can get shields, and it costs 125. How much scrap do we need? Uh, I feel like it's 70-something. Sleeping Dragon usually re reminds me. Um, what, this sells for like 15, and this is for like 30... So we have, we have around 60 scrap and stuff to sell. The slug has already been renamed, Jesnik. 62 in sellables. So 125 minus 62. We need 63, is that right? So it's 30, 17, 15, okay. So we need 63 scrap to be able to forge shields from the store, if that's, if my math is not wrong. When you mentioned Atreyu, you were just going to request Pit of Despair to replace him, okay. Uh, I can rename the rock, Jaysnek, Jaysnek, if you want me to. Uh, Svensson, thank you for the six months in a row. Appreciate it. All right, Smender, surrender the goods. Okay. Okay. So many pop-ups. You were AFK. Okay. Good dodge, good dodge to start the run. Yeah, that pulls the pilot. These guys should have set the sealed shields to 75 cost like you did. Yes, if only. Uh, starts with long range scanners, so obviously it's one of the best ships in the game. Yeah, totally. I get a little more uh, training if I do that. And then that. Holy free crew, okay. It's a human, but well, it's free. The cookies don't matter, whatever, okay. <laughs> That's fine. You do like the shield drone? Look good guys, it awful is your only means of blocking shots. It's replenishment times are awful. Yes, they are. Predictions up, thank you, Kasalian. Probably it's because it's a stealth ship without cloaking, yes. That's the reason it's bad. How does the ship have long range scanners but not sensors? <laughs> good question. We have many questions about this ship. I could actually go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? That might be worth doing. If I beeline it to the nebula, then back around for the store, I get one more guaranteed jump before the store, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Nebula makes that safe. Six, seven. First Nebula that makes that one safe in eight. Still get 12. Yes, let's do that. Make use of this Nebula. 
They brought snacks so they get to stay, the humans, huh? I'm not buying fuel right now. I need scrap for stuff. Shields. Third day, you got a Sector 1 heavy laser on the ship, then you couldn't get any other weapons, so you had to buy a Combat 2 and Combat 1 for late game. It was weird. Sound like a, that sounded like a pretty weird... Build an upgrade path. It's the Mantis War Camp. That's going to be a half-power nebula. Mantis War Camp, I think, is what that is, and I don't think that's guaranteed to give you stuff. And Sleeping Dragon 1 with that build? Nice. How much power will I have at half power? 7 divided by 2, run it up, is what? 4. I will have 4 power. I'll be, have both, I'll be able to have my weapons and the shield drone, and that's it. Yay. All right, I'm going to continue with the path, because if we could somehow get enough between these two jumps to get shields from the store, that would be really, really good. All right, what do you have? What do you have? Shift S5. Just your missile online, okay? Damn, I messed, messed that up. Just trying to get the perfect swipe. It's hard for me on the Harmono Positive to perfectly aim the mini beam. Oh, there's a fire. Do that so we have some O2. Is Stealth C the worst stealth ship? No, Stealth B. If you're talking about Harmon no pause consistent win, Stealth B is worse. Because <clears throat> at least this has fast firing weapons. Man, all of our good jumps are down there. All of our ship fights. Should we skip the store and just go get all these ship fights? Or do I hope that I get 13 scrap worth of stuff from here? That was technically a training fight. Uh, yeah, I guess it was, wasn't it? With only one weapon up. Oh, well. We need 23, not 13. You're right. We need 23. I think I might skip the store. Oh, God. I'm going to be going through a solar flare if I go this way, though. Hmm... It actually wasn't a safe fight, because Manned Heavy is too fast. Well, with the missile up, it started with their missile up, so maybe it was safe if I never shot him, maybe. I'm going to go back around this way. I don't want to go through Solar Flare. 23 is the upper limit of high rewards in Sector 1. So, you're telling me there's, there's a chance. We could get a double reward. Well... That won't get me shields. I do like a free NG, though. Uh, shields will be here when they appear. Uh, we'll take a silly device. But then they'll run out of missiles and swap to heavy laser. Yeah, I guess that's true. Then do I even go to the store, then? I don't think I do. If only I could sell a human for 23 scrap. Thank God, it's an auto surveyor and not an auto assault with offensive drones. <clears throat> Which I think I'd rather not deal with the drones. Anti-drone, I'm gonna use that or shield drone, not both. Nice. Sure we can't run. I say, is this a safe fight? Not when he's running, I don't think. Although, you know what? I might delay this a bit. Because he can't run yet. 
Maybe I can get... Well, no dodging yet. I'll wait till he repairs something, then we'll hit him. There it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, who would pay 23 scrap for a human? I mean, I bought a human for 45 at a store when I was desperate, so... Sure, there's some people out there. You should probably know this, but why do you always name your free NG silly device? Factoid, you don't know? Alright, here we go. Here's a YouTube short. So the reason we name our NG on door silly device is because we have had a Twitch viewer for years and years and years who would always request to be the NG on doors, and that person was silly device. And that led to memes like uh, edu.edu, ngdooruniversity.edu. He is the number one graduate valedictorian of ngdooruniversity.edu. So there you go. That is the reason why Silly Device is always on doors. There's our story. Um, we do have Clone Bay for manly search here. So there's a very short story time. Attack the Rebels. Slightly delayed that. Oh my god, the double dodge though. The double dodge, no good. Man. good. Oh, good dodge. Even though I didn't have the power there. There it is. There it is. Many jokes about hooking him up with women who are into hot robots with door opening skills. <laughs> Many, many silly device memes we've had over the years. I always jo enjoy a good silly device meme. We even had somebody request for an NG after a silly device to become a serious device. So I think we had one of those last last week. Nice! The double reward! This is why the Rebels will always have support. This is why I'll always steal from you, because you have stuff. Well, we have enough to get shields now. Um... Uh, Do I care about going to Solar Flare Quest? Not really. But now we just need to find a store that's actually selling shields. Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to go here. Two, three, four, five, six, yes. So half power. Uh, half power is the weapons and just the drone. Let's go. Why is the door NG silly device? Nice, thank you, Zach Dog. I can make that a YouTube short and use that link for when people ask. Uh. Actually, should probably just keep the drone up, but it's fine. Don't hit my weapons. Damn it. Okay. Come on. Do what you're supposed to do. Hit him. Thank you. Okay. I don't know. This is one of those things when they have both weapons and drone. I probably should have kept on drone on online at all times, but ion hitting weapons is super annoying. Is there any way I get training now with just an ion? I mean, if I could breach, but I can't breach, so I'm just not even gonna worry about it. Actually, I'm gonna get one extra weapon training by not finishing that, and then doing that. It's not the size of your doorknob, it's how delicately you turn it. <laughs> Silly device agrees. YouTube short ready. Thank you, Zach Dog. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. Okay. Appreciate you taking care of the the clipping. Hot robots in your area down to open doors. <laughs> uh Yes, and many memes about Silly Device hating rock beef with no starting doors. Holy crap, this is one of the scariest ships. At least it doesn't have an offensive drone to go with it, but still. Frickin' double heavy laser one, man. It's so fast firing, too. Okay, alright, alright, he didn't hit our weapons. Praise our in Jesus. There is a fire, so is there a crew kill opportunity here? Uh, 
and it fires out. So I would say no. Purposely taking a little bit longer to finish him. We get a couple more weapon training. There we go. You also studied at edu.edu. <laughs> I mean, it is the number one door university in the galaxy. In the Milky Way. edu.edu. Check out our website. Doors at edu.edu. You can email silly device, silly device at edu.edu. We can do giant alien spiders because we have clone bay. Damn it. Unlucky. You learned all your best moves from Silly Device. Nice, nice. There we go. We can do that one. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, God. Do we avoid this or do we do it, chat? Rebel Rigor is... It's like a 50-50 or maybe one in three to have an offensive drone, right? This is a double reward. I'm leaning towards yes, but if he has an offensive drone, this could be really bad. Forgot to get a weapon buffer. Was I supposed to? Okay, I didn't know that was... I guess I should have asked what the first upgrade is on the ship. I was just saving it all for shields. You hate these choices? We can bolt if we need to. It depends. This can spiral really quickly. At least he doesn't have a heavy laser with his mini beam. For a time, whenever you got the urge to play FTL and got a door engine, you'd name him Absurd Gadget, but it's just not the same. Must not have studied hard at all. <laughs> Skip, take the fight, YOLO. I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to trust in there not being an offensive drone. Let's, let's figure out. If there is an offensive drone, do I turn on... Anti-drone or not? You think it's less dangerous since we do have the NG for repair? True. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna intervene. But my question stands: Do we turn on anti-drone if there's an offensive drone? I assume I turn it on, then immediately swap the shield drone after it kills after it shoots the first drone, like we did on the last fight with this. That's what I assume we should do. Uh, six or five. Let's see. Good. No offensive drone, at least. So at least we got that going for us. Swapping isn't fast enough. Okay. You would just leave the anti-drone up. Okay. Thankfully, we don't have that. Okay. There was a fire somewhere. I didn't see where it hit. I think it was down here somewhere. Alright, I think that was only one damage for a double reward. Holy triple reward with a... With a Bonus augment. Absolutely worth. Hashtag never punished. Alright, let's get the weapon value since I can afford shields in case we get another event like that. If only our stealth ship had sensors. <laughs> you hate this ship? You constantly struggle all the time just to lose in Sector 4 with stealth B? At least you fail really early. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's got cloaking. This is another double reward. At least doesn't have offensive drones. With no shields, though, I can auto-fire my charge laser and get a shot off earlier. Problem is, I think he gets his full volley, maybe? Oh, frickin' two out of three dodged. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Good frickin' fight, man. Good frickin' fight. Same, you hate this ship. Yeah, a lot of people say that. I and I and I said before I don't actually mind this ship that much. It's not my favorite, but I'd rather play this than some other ships. Slug pilot, best pilot, way to go, soldier on. Nice double reward, man. Very good sector one. Civilian wants a red after, but we need our shields, so let's go. All right. Come on, shields. Don't even have to sell anything to buy them. Beautiful. Anything else here I care about? Nah. Uh, I definitely don't care about this, right? Do I keep that for, like, pulsars, potentially? I don't think 
it, so. I can set, get second shield if I sell... Actually, if I sell just anti-drone, I can get second shield and keep the shield drone. I always had this debate. I've, I just don't even know if shield drone is worth keeping. Because you could argue it's missile defense, but you have to get really lucky with the timing. Drone recovery arm. Really? I guess I could sell... I have exactly enough to sell anti-drone for drone recovery arm. Is that worth to turn our shield drone on every run? I think anti-drone is still better than shield plus, in your opinion. You logged on to get the sub in. Back to work. You've cashed the run on YouTube. Oh, thank you, Loco Hero. Really do appreciate that. AD is miles better than shield, in your opinion? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I agree that I don't want to keep this. The question is, do I want to get drone recovery arm? What are we what are we hoping to have happen if I buy drone recovery arm? That I find a defense drone two and use it every time? Use offensive drones? What's what's the idea behind just buying a drone recovery arm with only an anti drone? To get offensive drones? I guess having that as an option could be a something. If I do that, I don't get shields right now. Use hacking on drones more freely. I don't know that it lets me use hacking that much more freely since it doesn't work on hockey hacking. But I could see, I could see drone recovery army having some value. I guess I buy it, and if I get to a store where I need to sell it for a weapon, I will. It will have cost me twenty-five scrap. You always find drone recovery arm very tempting when you have drone control. Yeah, but you like playing drones more than I do. I don't know, I kind of just want to get the second shield and hope we find a weapon at another store in the civilian sector. That might be too risky, though, to hope just hope we find a weapon. Because if our next store has no weapons but has an offensive drone, I will have wished I bought this. You don't think drone recovery arm is good after selling shield drone? I'm just gonna get second shield. Just don't think it's good enough. If I had gotten a free combat drone or something, I probably would have done it, but. Missile off, that's good. We want to keep doing one damage to weapons, keep the missile down. Uh, well, never mind, I swap it back over. Fine. Second shield already doing work, yeah. Yeah. I mean, our results based analysis agrees with you. Um, so our goal is to get another store with a weapon this sector, right? One power, heavy laser one, would actually be amazing. So I guess I check to see if that's a store. If not, maybe I go this way. We'll see. How are the hands? They're pretty, pretty good today. I, th I feel like ending early yesterday was really good. It let me kind of rest my brain. And my hands. So. I got a workout in. Didn't feel rushed. Had a good dinner. It was it was good to take the extra time yesterday. I feel better today after taking that slightly shorter stream yesterday. Safe fight. Safe fight with crew kill. Let's go. Although he has a heal bay, so. We can somehow get him to board with the NG. How do we get him to board with the NG? I think it's gotta be shooting the med base or the teleporter so he goes to fix it. Nice. Uh, 
Now, if I do this... Damn it. Now, now what I want is I want the human on piloting, so I think I need to damage two rooms. Uh, strictly didn't need to do that. It's fine. How, how am I... How am I gonna do this? I need... I need him to not dodge half of my shots here. Yeah, beam swipe order does it. I know. I just I want to hit two and then hit one room is what I'd like to do. There it is. Now the human will be on piloting and then he'll be... Okay, now we train. And I can also train weapons here. So we auto-fired this. And this should be training, and then eventually... Well, he's got level 202. I don't know if I'm going to be able to crew kill it. Should have bio-swiped everyone. Okay. All right. Uh, let me turn on... Let's get our training done here. Is everybody where I want them to be? I think so. Cross-train if I want to. Let's reset this. I have a feeling with level 2 heal bay... I mean, level 2 clone bay... Level 202 and a heal bay. I don't think I'm ever crew killing this anyway, but I guess we'll try. You ever saw anyone as good at FTL as you are, man? Been a long time since I saw a stream. How's the run? What's up, Capital? It's uh, pretty good. We have shields on Stealth C. That's a good sign. I can cross train on weapons, I guess. Um, does these guys still need to train? Really fast weapon training. Med bay is relevant because if O2 is damaged, they'll ignore the med bay to try to fix the oxygen. Really? Okay. Maybe there will be a way to do it then. I'm still worried about it being level 202, but maybe. Okay, so that's um, that done. So let's do this cross training here. A little cross training since it will be super fast. But thank you for the kind words, uh, Capital. I appreciate it. I am doing well. There are definitely better people than me at FTL, though. But it's nice of you to say so. I right, suppose with Medbear too slow even for you, Mike. <laughs> and it's too slow for Mike, you know, I don't have the patience for it. No way I'm ever having that patience. All right, we'll finish this training and then we'll call it good. And try to go for the O2 crew kill. Which, the thing that would ruin the O2 crew kill would actually be, um... Would actually be starting a fire in the O2. So I think what we need to do is just hit it twice and hope we don't get a fire. Instant fire. Okay. Um, maybe I could pull the human by hitting shields. Maybe that'll work. You like your runs to finish before the heat death of the universe. <laughs> and that wouldn't happen if you're bio weapon, I guess. Huh? Am I going to get a better deal than this? Than five fuel six missiles? I doubt it. Uh, watching the speed up charge bars on the charge plus model is kind of hypnotic, huh? Uh, I'm pretty sure we never get this crew kill, so I'm going to take... I mean, I have a lot of fuel. But I don't need the missiles, but... The potential double reward, though? Is it? I don't know what event we're at. There's a store next jump. It's true. Well, I hope I don't get less than nine scrap. Then I'll feel really bad about it. I don't think I ever get this. I'm still kind of trying. Kind of. The bribe event is always a possible double reward, though it's not terribly likely. Okay. Yeah, anyway, well, we tried. 18 scrap is double. Uh, and a store, okay. 
All right. Okay. The double reward was a store, so that we can store with our store, so we have a store when we store. I guess we just get charged, charge laser. I guess that's not terrible. It's a weapon upgrade. Um, Rand, it seems like you are having a slightly better day than last Thursday. Yes, Ali Sharon. We played Zeltne, and we are playing this ship, which is not terrible, and we've had a not terrible start. So, all right, let's buy that. Now I don't think I'd go to the store, because I'd go to the store for a weapon and I'd have to sell something to actually get a weapon. Um, oh, that doesn't connect. So that means if I get one nebula, I get seven here. If I got three, I'd get eight here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that many jumps. Charge laser minus to go with our charge laser plus. That's right. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. That's probably gonna be our best bet. All right, I'm gonna buy. While the repair is cheap, I'll do what Mike talks about doing. Get a little bit of extra repair while it's cheap. All I need is the 35 to get the other weapon online and some power, and we're looking good for sector three, I'd say. If I go to the store, I'll see a flak one and you'd be disappointed. True, true. Hey, so many blue options. NG crew, let's go. Don't go to the store, you'll just be disappointed. I like the way you think. Alright, I don't have hacking yet. Which is the thing I need to think about, going to another store for hacking. But I'd like to get my weapon online. I'm going to sell six drone parts and hope I don't use that many anytime soon. Because that will hopefully let me get this and then power and be looking good. Wait, I thought that connected. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, well, thankfully we can go down this way and still get a decent number of jumps here. Don't those two weapons spontaneously fuse into a charge laser too? Thank God they don't. Safe fight. Don't need any other training. Now our training's good. Speaking of, let's close this so it doesn't crash anything. Okay, wow, look at that fate. Sector 1, 183 scrap Sector 1 civilian. That's amazing. It's an amazing Sector 1. Ha! <laughs> okay. Now imagine losing a streak because jump one stealthy gives you seven scrap and a charge laser and you now can't get through shields. Except the one a charge laser and you can't get through shields. Seven scrap. Is that how one of your recent runs went? Holy free heavy ion. Okay. Okay. Can do manly search if that's what that is. This is going to be a half power jump, so let's do that. Please manly search. I would love to manly search with my clone bait. Damn. A burst laser two. I need all of my shots to hit to not take damage here, I think. Got it. Nice. Don't hack my O2, please. Oh, we killed. Haha, <laughs> we killed it with our mini beam. Nice. Very nice. Is the second human available? Yes. Yes, it is. I like memes. Let me get you. Uh, I won Ike memes. Saw a post on Reddit this week where someone posted a tier list with heavy ion and like A or B tier. <laughs> really? Normally I'm like, you know, your tier list is your business, but that's just, just objectively wrong. I just, I can't think of any redeeming qualities for somebody putting heavy ion high. It's objectively a bad tier list. 
It's in B tier. B equal bad. Yes. You saw that one too, and that's the one that put Ion Bomb in A tier. You even commented on it. Hey, manly search. Poor damage rate scrap. Well, maybe not the best deal, but it's fine. Right, that was only the breach. The only, only the breach. Only the breach. Um, do, 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 do. I don't know actually how much power I'm going to have outside the nebula, but I guess I'm still going to do this. Because I think that'll be enough for my weapons and my shields, I think. Uh, there was a spectac spectacular one today. What a spectacular tier list. Um, the person who made that tier list only beat each ship once on hard anyway. In 300 plus hours. About as much scrap as you need to repair those four damage. So nice. Beating each ship on hard is an achievement. It definitely is. Um, but I don't know if you should be making tier lists, if that's all you've done. I guess if you like making tier lists, that's fine, it's fine. I'm doing pretty well on crew. Can this give us power or scrap, I think? I'm going to do this one. Ten hole repair, okay, not bad. Not bad. You're watching a tier list? On YouTube once, you think it was a 40 minute video, the first weapon he did was mini beam, he put it in D tier, you did not watch the rest. <laughs> uh, poor people making FTL content being made fun of by all us super FTL nerds. Good freaking dodge, man, by the way. Good dodge. They're just trying to make their YouTube content. I feel five missiles, don't care. Uh, you liked the part where he said he builds around Heavy Crystal 2 99% of the time he finds it. <laughs> the most rare weapon in the game? Really? It's common to start with the idea that bad weapons and augments are good and later learning they're not. You live by go flack, never come back. That's right. No, chat is very mean about <laughs> people's tier lists, I guess. For sure, Heavy Crystal 2 hasn't been found enough times in all FTL runs put together for 99% to be mathematically even possible. <laughs> yes! I love selling my missiles to you. Zoltan or Rock? I have Rock Live Mine protection. I do not have Zoltan Shield. I mean, Zoltan Border Police protection. Unless you count my crappy crew. So I think I'm gonna go rock here and hopefully get a store with Beacon Strong. You don't think you've even seen Heavy 2 Crystal, Heavy Crystal 2 more than once in a store? You did kill Flagship with Heavy Crystal 2 once on Crystal B for a flex. You watched a guy buy Crystal Burst 2 yesterday, pretty terrible weapon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like all of those crystal weapons that are super rare are not even very good from what I've seen. Alright, let's just do that. I want to have enough power to have my weapons and my shields online without turning off my O2. You're not 100% sure that in 1500 plus hours of this game that you've bought enough at a store more than once or twice. Oh, bought that weapon, yeah. Oh man, this guy, speaking of good weapons. This guy has them. I should finish my sentence, I guess. These fucking dodges! Yep, I agree, fast ran. Alright, can I get that missile down? Damn. It's hoping. Not too many value points. Nice freaking dodges, man. Way to go, pass. I mean, present. What's your face? Soldier on, way to go. Terrible deal. Die. Uh, at least the crystal weapons are dirt cheap. Crystal just feels obsolete after a few sectors, so if it isn't default, why use them? Yeah. What's our goal? Hacking or defense drone, probably? That we're anywhere close to being able to afford cloaking. You have one thing to sell, I think. <laughs> Best blue option in the game. The two aliens face one another over the vid screen. Cave dwelling pebble man yells the furious man's captain. See, I paint my ship with your companions. I paint my ship with you. 
Love that blue option. All right. Um, crew kill if we do this right. Which means getting the Mantis low, not killing him, let the NG board, then kill Clone Bay. Okay. okay. Shoot him once. Get him super low. There we go. And he'll board with the NG. We kill the NG. Then we kill the Clone Bay. I built around this weapon 98.75234 1% of through three times I found it. <laughs> Good math right there. It's good math. I trust that math. All right, NG, come tell us a story about how you're going to kill us. Uh, that's not where I wanted you to go. Okay, that's actually good, though. You should come in here now, right? Yes. Okay, a little too clone bay, though. Got him. Yeah, good math right there. That's good math. Some quality math. All right, store. I have enough for hacking. Could do a thing where I kind of go one, two, three, and back around. I think I do want to do that. I would like a little more scrap before I go to the store. Can't argue against maths, it's just facts. It's true. True statement. Holy crap, I wish I had your weapons. All of your weapons are better than mine except for maybe the mini beam. Okay. Whew, but my dodges are better than yours. Ooh, we got a fire in the two room. I think I'd pull these guys out of O2 and crew kill this, but uh Maybe not. Man, so they prioritize O2 over everything else? Damn. I guess O2 is after shields and weapons, huh? Terrible deal. What's up, Flop Stan? How are you doing? One, two, three, four. Weapon quality only matters if they get a chance to fire. Well, they got to fire half of a time. Or two thirds of a time since the flak went off and the first laser got two out of three of its shots. Oh my god, stop hitting my weapons. Two shields and a sector two, so balanced. Go fuck yourself, you shitty piece of shit. <laughs> Come on. Damn it! Missile go down! Okay, good dodge, good dodge. Man, I hate it when the shields are so far away from the weapons. Come on. Ah, this Lido won't go down. Okay, finally it's down. Oh, we doged, we doged, beautiful. And it's back up. God damn it, Lido will not stay down. How many value points do you have? Two, I guess. Okay, I only took a little bit of damage. We got those free repairs earlier. Shiznitty, piss up shiznitty. Nice one, pass ran, nice one. Uh, S-W-O-P-E. Shields, weapons, oxygen, piloting, engines. That's what it's supposed to be, okay. Does an auction repair depend on the current auction levels in the ship? An O2 repair priority beats everything when below 25%. There you go. There you go. I might be able to sell Heavy Ion for cloaking if it's here. If it's not here. Okay, we always want that, but uh, we only have room for one system, right? No, we have room for two, hacking and cloaking. Actually, that's hacking is what I wanted. Drone recovery arm again we could do. No drones, no weapons, none of the systems I want besides backup battery. Not an ideal store. 
Recently had a few runs running out of fuel at one point, and from what I saw on the wiki, the events when waiting are somewhat different depending on the distress signal be being turned on. Does anyone know if it is better to use it or not? For sure it's always better to be on, I like memes. Oh, we're Sector 3. Why did I think I was Sector 2 with two shields? Okay, wow. We are actually safe. Because this terrible weapon is what they have. Medvi and Clombe is not included in that initialism. Okay. Yes, this amazing B tier weapon. It's so amazing, this B tier weapon. You can get more dangerous events with distress on, but you want it on because you want fights. Distress on is better unless maybe you're also terrified of any fights. Yeah, basically, I think if your distress signal is not on, maybe you're less likely to get attacked. So if you're at one health, maybe, and you have a whole lot of extra jumps, but you want ship fights so that you can gain fuel unless you're about to die. And even then, your run's probably over if you're about to die and out of fuel. You've either had a really unlucky run or didn't plan well or something. Love how you default to filtering to shiznizzle, but the tilt mode gets engaged, all filters overflow. Yes, my filter turns off when missiles start hitting me in the face. I have no filters when missiles are hitting me in the face. It right, looks like we don't get our second store unless I go one. It could be there. Would I dive for second store? I don't think I'm strong enough to dive for second store, so... Small chance at second store without diving or two ship fights. Let's get the ship fights because if I don't get an early store next sector, I might just get third shield to not bank too much scrap. So we don't get in the situation we were in the other day with having all that scrap and then dying. Okay, missile down. Two damage missile, no fire at least. Um, okay, well I'm failing at that. Apparently, oh god damn it. God damn it. Frickin' stupid ass dolphin flip on this ship. Holy crap, what a good deal. All right, I'm no longer mad. I took that, right? Yes, I did. I was like, why am I still fighting? Because these are free borders. It's so annoying when your ship has the... Nice. Has the boarding, or has the uh, first position in the bottom left. I can't dolphin flip correctly. That's so annoying. I would have had to do bam, bam, bam. Ah, so stupid. The dolphin flipping shenanigans when... And you can't tell which is the manning system easily. Because they're like standing over the damn thing. Alright, well, me just making excuses for not being able to dolphin flip correctly. Uh, I am no longer mad, but will still kill your rock, dude. Hope you understand. Yeah, <laughs> I'm no longer mad, but thanks for the free stuff, and I'm gonna kill you anyway. Don't want this on my bar. Not right now. We're fighting two shield ships, and we're setting Rockman on fire. Not the best uh, plan. Probably can crew kill this, though. Okay. Hello. 15. Very good. Don't kill him. He jumps back. This guy will eventually board us. Problem is, I need him to board before he first laser fires. I don't know if he's going to board us now. Yes, good. Now this will kill this guy. Hey, Dolphin Flip worked. 
Beautiful. Uh, ship offers fire bombs, surrender to save their lives, promptly burns down to fire. <laughs> uh, do I think it would be interesting to be allowed to switch on the distress beacon at any time so you could make like a trap? Yeah, it'd be interesting. I don't know how good it would be, but it'd be interesting. I paint my ship with that rock, dude. <laughs> That's right. We got our revenge. Paint my ship with that rock guy. And well, I have enough for cloaking. If we can find a store. Search for surviving DNA bank? Ha <laughs> It's a free border. Alright, fine, whatever. She's just the one guy. Uh, that was a rather bad reward for Sector 3 crew kill. Yeah, I don't think it was that good, but I was just proud to get the crew kill against two rock dudes and a really good weapon system. Zorn Border Police, why have you left your ship beacon on for no reason? Prepare to be boarded. Why would we want cloaking or to paint our ship with a rock dude? We already have such a cool camo paint job, yes. Well, there's my store, but we're not diving for it. Maybe if I knew I was going to be able to get cloaking, but even then, that's probably kind of sketchy. Alright. I do have enough that I could sell for the thing, so. I'm gonna go into an asteroid field with three shields. I'm not gonna go into a pulsar. Forced asteroid field, well, that or pulsar. Those are our choices. I think that's level 3 uh, cloaking. Holy crap. Jesus. Okay, good dodges. Oh my god, the frickin' dodges. Okay, it's fine. Uh, yeah. I can't, can't do it. Gotta, gotta wait. Rebel 4, sector time for anti-drone to show its quality. Yeah, it might, it might if we get asteroid field plus double offensive drones. Thankfully that wasn't that. Mecha only had level 1 shields though. Okay. Are all anti-drones henceforth known as Faramir? <laughs> time for anti-drone to show its quality. Uh, auto assault. Okay, let's do it. Show your quality. No. I think uh, I think something blocked our shot. I think one of our shots ran into one of his shots there. Nice, nice. Now we should have a safe fight. Do, 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 do. Nice. A chance for Faramir, drone of stealth C, to show his quality. <laughs> drone of stealth C. He's always been overshadowed by his brother, defense drone Boromir. Time to show his quality. Boromir the defense drone. No double reward, sad. Store though, okay. Wow, so many asteroid fields. Alright, um... I think I'm gonna delay the store. Because I don't have enough for cloaking unless I sell something, and I don't want to sell anything yet. I'm gonna buy one power and delay the store a bit here. I hope I don't die from delaying the store. Hey guys, let me introduce you to my drone buddies. Steven, Carl, Faramir of Gondor, <laughs> his brother Boromir. 
Oh, uh, not an assault with missiles. This is probably what kills me here. Rip Faramir. The minor drone may be slain by a single stray laser. Boromir was once struck by many. Yes. There it is. There it is. Do I get the punishment? I swear that asteroid almost killed my drone. Fuck this fucking fucker game. Okay, missile is down. Drones are down. I think we're okay. That was a weird complete miss. Okay. Nice. Drone actually helped me that time hit the shields. Purposely not hitting weapons again so the missile doesn't come back online. Alright, we only took a little bit of damage. Definitely worth. Definitely worth. So many asteroid fields. Alright, one, two, three, four. Alright, I'm gonna do three more jumps for the store. My greed. In sector four, please don't kill me, my greed in sector four. Imagine if any of your drones exploding over your ship did damage. Fear mirror of house Axelian, hand, handy against auto assaults. Okay. Running away double missiles. Okay. What the hell, okay, man? Okay. What the actual fuck? Except that his double missiles are still online, but it's fine. Uh, he's... I let him did not get hit, though. Fuck you. I'm screwed. Fucking screwed, man. The double fire my fucking weapons from a single fucking missile. Alright, I should at least get out before he runs. But this goddamn game. I hate this game. Okay. That's for power. Which means 12 drone parts. Okay. Not terrible. Alright, that, that fight cost me some health. Double goddamn missiles. Single missile double fire into my weapons. No counterplay to that shit. If only any of the stores we'd been to had a defense drone, I would have a counterplay to that shit. But nope. Fire beam drones, not too bad. I don't know if I should be using my drones here, my drone parts here, but I'm doing it. I didn't fire my weapon. Okay, it didn't hit my weapons, thank god. Okay, not bad, not bad. Beautiful. Okay. All right, hopefully this will be a double reward that will make it worth taking all these extra jumps before the store. Or even a triple reward would be awesome. Come on, double reward. 22 scrap and... Yeah, all right, we got a double reward at least. You can't fire me, I quit. What? No, you don't get to get out on me. I get out on you. What? I don't get what these are saying. What are these? What are these system stores, man? Do you have a defense drone? No. Ah, oh, these stores are terrible. Frickin' terrible stores, man. Crappy weapons. The exact wrong systems. I'm probably gonna buy sensors to free up a slot, but ugh, ugh. That's how I feel about that. I got a burst laser instead of mini beam. Repair bomb. Oh my god. Yeah, the augments aren't good unless I decide to all of a sudden go boarding, which I don't plan on doing. I'm not running out of drone parts, at least, I guess. I mean, burst laser is a side grade, maybe even a downgrade from mini beam, but the fact that I only have four shots against sector four going into sector five is a little worrying. Should I buy this burst laser? 
Do I actually need to sell mini beam and get burst laser one so I can get through three shield ships? Surely I don't do that, right? Burst laser one is better than charge laser one, but right now I'm not worried about a small chance to start fires. I'm more worried about actually getting through three shields. None of that feels worth spending scrap on. The only thing better about Burst Laser 1 than Laser Charger is it's one second faster and has a low fire chance. It's not really a huge upgrade. It's better, but I don't think it's worth going six shots instead of four plus the beam against three shields. Very unlikely to find another store I can get to. I can't even get six gems here with this crappy layout, so here in four. Yeah, I don't think it's worth spending scrap on any of that. I'm gonna do two extra repairs in my newfound idea of spending a little bit more scrap rather than banking quite so much. The beam is good once you get through. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just four shots to get through three shields, man. The issue. Four shots to get through three shields. I'm not super psyched about. He's gonna run. He's got a missile and hacking. Fucking hell. I'm gonna shoot down the hacking drone with my anti drone. Hopefully. Hold the pilot. Thank God we got the missile offline. Thank God. What a stupid ship, by the way. Rebel Disruptor with drones, hacking, and missiles. One of the biggest BS sector, any sector ships you can fight. All the consumables, none of the goddamn downsides. So effing dumb, this build. What a ridiculously overpowered ship. Okay. But we wrecked him at least. I don't know if my anti-drone did anything there. Pretty sure it did nothing. No store. Uh, hard to say. You can see the burst being better potentially. There was a battery charger at that store. Technically, if you'd bought it, you'd have melted the second one for 25 there and then been able to sell the original at the next store for 20 and made a profit off the purchase. <laughs> profit by buy buying battery charger. What a play. I think I'd rather have distress over double ship fights with all these rebel disruptors and crap. Could distress ever be a store, maybe? Hey Rand, how did you know it was running before the text saying that? Um, that? Did I know it before the text said it? I'm pretty sure the text did say it was running. Alright, I'll offer them assistance. Okay, free stuff. I mean, I guess I'm gonna get a weapon value right now. Maybe that'll help me against a missile getting through? That's like the only thing I can think of to make my offense a little less crappy right now. Yeah, I feel like as a forward scout and I did see that it said running away. This one says intruder on board, so I know he's not running, but he's a missile. God damn it, it's another one of these rebel disruptors with fucking missile, fucking hacking, and fucking drone patrol. Reject. Keep doing this and hope this helps me out. At least he's not running, I guess. Ah, uh, he dodged just enough. Okay, well, he didn't hack my weapons at least. Hey, look at the hat! Way to go, anti drone. Thank you for being my missile defense. Way to go, actually. Fuck this game. If I take this so I don't take the missile. Not a very good deal. I'm gonna hope he dodge. Fuck. Wow. 
Fuck Big surprise. You. We Fuck didn't you. dodge and we got a breach. Thanks, game. Thanks. Appreciate it. Man, freaking Leto having a 100% breach chance over here. Freaking Leto over here. Faramir, no! It was a chance for Faramir of Gondor to show his quality! And he did show his quality. Just like he was, he just wanted to live like his big brother Boromir. Big brother Boromir and block a big bad missile. Typical Faramir, so noble. <laughs> he knew the drone system was hacked, he knew he was a gunner anyway. No! <laughs> well done, Faramir. Okay. Cloaking. Okay. Well, double charge laser are quite good against this kind of build, but if it's level 3 cloaking, I don't think it'll be good enough. Hope we get some dodges. Nope, he got all the dodges, apparently. Yep, I got literally zero dodges. Thanks, FTL. Go F yourself. 35% chance of dodge equals 0% chance of dodge. Thanks a lot, FTL. The greatest Autobot of them all, Faramir, will return. <laughs> Autobots assemble! Or roll out! Or something. Whatever they say. Mantis Homeworld's Rebel Control. Oh, man. Getting boarded by Mantis doesn't sound fun, but it's probably better than fighting more auto assaults and rebel disruptors, maybe? They're both one to two stores, right? Fireball and the Mantis dudes? Maybe. That might actually be better. I'm hoping I get an early store here. Yeah. If I put Firebomb on my bar and I have an auto scout fight, I feel like I don't kill them. I don't think I can afford to put a Firebomb on my bar, really. Without mind control to support it, I don't think Firebomb ever does anything. I think you're memeing, but I'm trying to seriously consider if it's actually worth to have Firebomb instead of one of my weapons. Mantis ships almost always have at least one NG. I doubt Firebomb ever does anything. All we need is a little energon and a lot of scrap. Nice. Man, I'm in Sector 5 with four shots and a mini beam. Thank God he has two shields. Okay. Double bombs. I cannot actually dent that guy. God good dodge, good damn dodge. It, game. What the actual fuck? Double missiles, my favorite. Okay, that's fine. Fuck you, FTL. Okay, no more missiles for you. Oh, the frickin' missiles. I get third shield, chat. I get third shield, so I'm not banking all my scrap and dying with bank scrap. And what do I get? Non stop double missile bullshit ships. That is FTL. That is the fun of FTL. I'm not get, gonna get the power, but I will get the that so I can back up battery level four engines. Okay, all right. Well, it's not missiles, thankfully. Boarding though. Ow. Well, no dodges for me again. Uh, get you over here. Okay. Oof. Probably crew kill. Uh, heal bay, NG, four crew. No, there's probably not a crew kill there, actually. I'm gonna have to refresh anyway. Just do it now. 
Fancy double reward, no reward. Well, I get to refresh all my crew, yay. Just what I was hoping to do today, refresh all of my crew. It's freaking going in a cycle here. Do I have to vent these guys? I might have to vent these guys, actually. I just vented my doors. Okay, it's fine. We have Clone Bay. It's annoying. Jesus Christ, fucking die! Oh my god. Goddamn Mantis would not die. I know, all of our training. Sad. Freaking two Mantis. Alright, I have to refresh my crew, actually, if we keep having bullshit fights like that. I need my crew to be full health. Grima has to be vented, not mauled, yes. Do the study harder at edu.edu. You know what? Actually, I might need to do a door upgrade here. I think I might need to do that if I don't see a store after this fight. If I don't see a store here, I'm probably going to get door upgrade. Zap Brannigan strats. Throw more crew at them till they're dead. Alright, there's our store. Alright, please cloaking or hacking or both. Oh, I would also accept a flak. Okay, cloaking. Not ideal. Just hoping for hacking. Um, is there a second store? Not yet. I think I need to buy this whole laser too as well. And replace uh charge laser. I actually can use the whole laser too right now. Replace the laser charger. The whole laser too. Gives us an extra shot. Very long charge time. Defense 2 I could have gotten. Am I going to continue to hold on to this firebomb? Did I buy it? I did buy it, right? Would I use it phase 1? I'm not going to have mind control, so we definitely need to crew kill phase 1, so I probably do need to keep that for crew killing phase 1. Time to play the game and make sure you don't sell the wrong laser charger. I think I did the right one. <laughs> I think I did. Firebomb was free. The rocks gave it to us. Oh, okay, okay. So I didn't spend scrap on it. But it totally would have been worth it if I did. All right, do I get the doors anyway? I am going to get the doors because that might be our only store this sector. I really hope there's not a store down here with hacking that I just missed out on. I did buy a firebomb last run. That's true. I did. Okay, we have cloaking now. I only need one shield. These fucking dodges! Nice. Get that frickin' hole laser breach, man! Frickin' hole laser breach! I go one, two, three this way. <laughs> Nice. Oh, this weapon system feels so much better. Not great, but better. Just having cloaking feels amazing, though. Three cheers for cloaking. Finally, a system. Um, that Scott Mouse... Scott Mouse malfunction has gone down in Legend. Um... Did that happen? You've nearly done it yourself. He actually had a really dodgy mouse. Is that Scott Onesie Wilson thing? I don't know if I know about that. Oh man, that's a pul that's a forced pulsar if I go this way. I might backtrack to the store to avoid a pulsar with no hacking. We have whole laser breach sounds now. Um, What do you mean whole laser breach sounds? Like past ran things? I don't think so.
What the hell? And this all is good. Good. Uh, let's go shields next. Maybe we can pull the NG out of the weapon repairing. Nice. Um, there might have been a crew kill here, but... Mm. But, mm, that's what I had to say about that. Not you, we want you. There we go. Scott, yeah, he had a dodgy mouse. Something happened with. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Oh, sell the wrong. Oh, like you miss. Like. What was he on this one and tried to sell this, but accidentally like clicked here on accident or something? Accidental sell. You'll find it. Okay, is there, is there a video of it? Okay, nice. Alright, do I go to the store or do I go through the pulsar? I think I'm gonna backtrack through the store. A pull store without hacking is a nightmare to deal with, depending on the fight. So let's just play it safe. Why you buy sensors? I bought sensors so that in the systems store, in stores that had systems, sensors would no longer be taking up the place where I want to buy hacking from. They did have a breach two here. Do I want to buy that or a pike beam over mini beam? Feels a little side grady. Do I want a defense two drone for missile defense? Well, that feels great. But yes, I bought sensor so it stopped taking up the good system slot in the store. That's why. I could anti drone here. I'm gonna not. Okay, we breached it, but he has level 3 piloting. Damn it! Fuck you, game. Give me some goddamn dodges, you shitty game. There you go, there's, there's past Rand showing up in present Rand. He has all the dodges, I don't get any. There it is, now we're basically safe. Do I need to get any training back? Just her shields. Get that pretty quickly. Get a weird feeling looking at Scott's clips and Twitch defaults to last seven days. Oh, uh, yeah. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace, Scott. It's crazy. Maybe if you talk nicely, FTL would give you better RNG, Kappa. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that'll work. Breach and fire chance are helping a lot compared to charge one, it seems. Well, it's also one extra shot per volley. That's the the uh, breach and other stuff is great, but the extra shot is the really big thing. Yeah, double ion. All right, boarding. Oh my god, the frickin' dodges. They're too good. Let me have some of those. Okay, it's fine. Hope you're stunned. Hey, okay. Free crew. It's a human, but hey, he's free. But hey, he's free. Didn't have to pay for him. 
Go beyond sensors. Use as human with engine training. Uh, what's up with the whole Scott thing? You never heard of the guy? Uh, Scott Wednesday Wilson was a very well-known uh, FTL Twitch and YouTuber. Really good guy. Really good player. Uh, he lived in the UK somewhere, I think. Yeah, and he passed away. I don't know. It's been a few years now, hasn't it? I think it's been a few years. He is a super good guy, though. If you watch that video going around about like history of FTL or something which shows a bunch of streamers. There's a lot of Scott Onesie Wilson clips in there. I believe Onesie was the first person to get a no-pause cycle. Was he really? Was he the first person to do that? That's crazy. Stupid. <laughs> That's what you want me to name the human. Actually, I have a request for an unnamed an unwanted human named Stupid. Just not misspelled. Um, let's see if I can save the drone part here. Okay. I'll turn the anti-drone on if it looks like I need it. Currently, I'm thinking we're good. Nope, terrible deal. He was the first person to do that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Holy triple shot. The OG no pause cycler. Man, he was actually going to get out there. The OG. Alright, you want me to name the human Stew Pid. There you go. Pid is his name. And if I vent one, I might rename it to one of these other requests from YouTube. Okay, alright. Come on, hacking. Come on, hacking. Bam, nice. Looking good. You saw a great clip of Scott accepting his Zoltan with speed hack on. Was Kestrel, Street, Kestrel C. Elenius instantly vented the Zoltan and Clone Bay was off. Good times. Uh, found a clip of him losing a crew member to speed hack. Is that the one that I watch FTL just talked about? Yeah, sure. Put it in chat. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think I care about anything else here. Let's let's give some memories and shout out and love to good old Scott. Some clips. It's the snuggy cozy. I'm not wearing it. No snuggy right now. Take care when using speed hack. Great name. Great name for the clip. Oh man. Um Good. Cloak the bomb. It's only a stun bomb. Don't really need to cloak that. It's fine. Pretty funny too. Yeah, he was he was a great streamer. He was a great streamer. Great guy. Really funny. One of the OG best FTL players. If he was the first one to get the cycle. Super sad. No snuggy for at least another eight minutes. Why, why eight minutes? Uh, let's get hacking to empower if I can afford both. Yes, I can. We have 13 drone parts. Sure, I do kind of need power right now. Saves me 30 scrap. Slug, all right. Need to get 02, level 202. Instant store probably has a flak that I can't get. All right, how do we want to do this? Maybe down, around, and back up and around, I guess, maybe? That connects there, so I guess I can go this way, then this way, and back around. Okay. A great clip. Nice. I'll have to watch that later. Let's 
seven years ago. Oh, that's a lot of pew-punage. Okay, I can hack weapons if I need to. At least this guy doesn't have cloaking. So let's do that. Yeah, let's hack his weapons. Let's do it. Play it safe. Nice fire in the weapons room. Maybe we can crew kill without being on fire. And um, locked down. Probably not. We've probably done too much damage. Close. It's close. I don't think I can finish this, though. Nah. On that note, you best go to bed for work tomorrow. We'll have Scott in your thoughts. All right. Have a great night, Pie Boy. Sleep well, my friend. Ryan, I just want to say real quick, you're cool. Thanks for these streams. Well, thank you, Dark Waffle. <laughs> That's right. Appreciate your friends while they're around. You never know. You never know, man. Rest in peace to Scott. And I'm I'm super glad to spend my time with all you awesome people. Seeing that that was seven years ago hurt your soul. Why are you old now? <laughs> We're all old. We're all old playing an old game. Missile down. All right, I should have got level 202. I knew there was something I was missing, and it's level 202. Uh, thank you for the follow, Purple Magic Johnson. Wow, what a name. I'm not crying, you're crying. I know. Seven years, one FTL 2.0. Soon TM, soon. No, it's never happening. It's never happening. Sorry, chat. Holy double reward. Okay. Let me get the O2 net. Uh, let me check my s no store. Although I do have a store coming up. But let's get the level 202. We could not vent our dudes while we fix this. Did it recently you've gotten back to multiverse RPG nerdos? Today it reminded you why you quit. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of how I felt when I played that first ship on viewership day. I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. And then the very next one I played, I was like raging the whole time. Now I remember why I hate it. Now I remember. I remember now. Oh, that's a pretty strong ship. All right, we better hack shields, I guess. Although I could probably hack weapons and be safe. Five shots to get through. Yeah, let's do it. He does have cloaking, which is not ideal. Okay. Rand raging? Never heard. Who would ever think? Never, never. I never. Well, I never. These dodges are really good. Look that. I've actually done damage there. I'm going to let him fire that. Okay. Pack this to buy time for a cloaking. His doges are too good. Let's see if we can kill the cloaking. There. No surrender. Uh, you quitting multiverse because of enemies being able to keep getting on stronger while the player can no longer upgrade and it doesn't seem like they plan to change that. You know how you could choose between level 2 cloaking with stealth weapons and ability to get cloaking level 5? Well, now you can forsake stealth weapons to be allowed to get up to cloaking 3. Nothing like nerfing the hell out of the player. 
Yeah, there's a lot of weird little things like that that I forgot about too. You can get those things at any time, but it's a trade-off for not being able to get other things, I guess. Multiverse is also really bloated with content. There's so many events that you won't ever see them all without no lifing. Yeah. Okay, quest marker next sector. It's a good dive sector if I can plan it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, dive. Something like that. If you don't mind the content bloat, would you mind as the player having no ways to keep upgrading? Yeah, well, what bugged me was all the locked in augment stuff. I don't know if they've done better with that or not. I can't remember when I played it last time if they still have. I didn't play any vanilla, sh well, vanilla multiverse, whatever that would be. Oh, the dodges. Um, I didn't play any of the ships that were not modded ships. If they still have modded ships that have locked in augments, I just, I never liked that mechanic. Forcing the player to not be able to get rid of certain augments, I just thought was bad game design or bad mod design. You will play the ship this way and you will like it and if you don't like it you have no choice. That was my main beef apart from the other things. Um Enemies keep getting more power, efficient weapons, and systems beyond imagination while you're stuck with standard vanilla system levels. Rock armor is locked in augment, but allows you to ram the bastards every fight. Has some value. They improved in that the augments are actually worth keeping to an extent. I, I don't know. I still... Even if the augments are better, the fact that you don't have choice is my issue. My issue is that FTL, the reason it's so good, is because you always have choice in how you build it. Sometimes your choices are limited, by the stores, but you could always say, nah, I don't like this augment. I'm going to swap it out for another one. When you have locked in augments or they give you all of the systems and you don't get to choose any systems, it takes away player choice. It takes away player agency. To me, player agency is one of the most important things in games. If you don't give the game, the, if you don't give the player choice, then why not just watch a movie because you have the same reason for doing it. It's entertainment that you have no effect over. It's like, it's why I don't like story-driven games or, you know, lore-heavy games that you might as well just be watching a movie. Why am I playing a video game if I can't make any choices, you know? Alright, uh, this store... I could buy a slug. I already have a slug on piloting. View Multiverse almost manages to change the game from roguelite to RPG, and that's not the... I don't know what B-U-E-N-O-I-S-T is. Buenoist in my mind. That must be a weird autocorrect. You accidentally do that to yourself when you play base FTL. You still have issues giving up the gimmick, you guess. Rand, what FTL ship do you personally think is the most overrated by the community? Ah. Uh, <sighs> overrated by the community. I don't know. I have no idea. Which community? The hard mode no pause community? The I'm new to FTL and don't know very much about the game community if it's that community then it's stealth b is completely overrated by new players but i don't it depends on what community you're talking about there are many ships that don't have locked in augments you think they could do with allowing to internalize them though no bueno that was supposed to be no bueno that was no buenoist wow okay never seen that combination of words your language skills invent gibberish, yes. Uh, yes, yes, me too. Would you like payment? Decline. Okay. Okay, so this is not getting taken over. What am I trying to upgrade next? Hacking three, I guess. Hoping for another store with better weapons. Bed ships are also overrated for by beginners who think artillery is nice. Yeah, I would say all of them, yeah. Okay, I see the goods. Continue. Slug. Okay, good. Fucking plus a bomb. Okay. Yeah, so probably fed 
all fed ships and stealth B. Those are what I'd say are the overrated ships by new players. Uh, I don't know if there's overrated players by experienced, overrated ships by experienced players. There's just, I feel like, different preferences. Like, I don't know, Stealth C to me isn't that bad, but probably some experienced players think it is really bad because it might not be very consistent, but I don't know. I maybe haven't played it enough to know how consistent it is compared to other ships. Fire before they repair cloaking, please. Good. Uh, you saw a guy literally yesterday telling players to upgrade Fed ARD. Have Fed A artillery to full ASAP. <laughs> There's, that's a good use of scrap. Uh, Kappa, that's sarcasm, by the way. Try to ask about the problems on multiverse server. No one seems to think that insanely broken enemy ships that can bring you from 30 to 0 in a blink of an eye are a problem. Well, I mean, the people who hang out on multiverse Discord are the people who really enjoy the mods, so... I don't know. I don't know. It, it can be hard to talk about things that you think could be improved with people who are really heavily invested in a community. It's like... Like in the action RPG community, I've been watching videos. Some people just love Diablo 4. And they can't be convinced that there's anything wrong with it. And uh, some people cannot... If you talk about Path of Exile 1 being overly complicated, people say, no, it's the best ARPG. Can't make it any better. Like, eh, okay, all right. Well, for you, that's probably the case. But, you know, people are hardcore about the things they love, that's for sure. In a game or a run last three hours, you just find it pretty stupid that you can, can't even run away from some fights if they go wrong, huh? There's my store. Okay. Can't change taste, yeah. That doesn't mean they're wrong. Unless, unless they think artillery is good. Then they are wrong. <laughs> if you think artillery is good, you're wrong. There we go. There's some hard line statements right there. Sure, let's take an automated reloader. Four repairs turn to four cost. I'll do that. Change the fuel cost. Do that. You are welcome to your wrong opinion. All right, we're going to still dive. As planned. They block your jump button and that's it? Really? They block your jump button in... Uh, multiverse? I don't remember that event. They just disable your FTL, you have to win or die, and some boss fights you cannot jump away, huh? Well, the people who defend it would probably say it's an optional fight, is my guess. You just have to know not to go to that fight. How do you know if you haven't played it over and over? Well, you have to play it more. Well, how would you know when there's 8,000 fights? Well, learn to play more, I don't know. Artillery is totally meta. La la la, I'm not listening to any wrong opinions. <laughs> you found the video, my copley. Oh no. Which one was this? The one where he accidentally sold the laser? Alright. Well, I'll have a uh, Scott Onesie Wilson clip watching thing. Uh, fun after, maybe after this run, because I don't think I'm doing a third run. Maybe we'll watch those together. We'll have a memorial to S Scott Onesie Wilson at after our third, the second run, since I won't want to do a third run. Uh, why is it always such a hard decision about whether it's worth keeping a box or not? It's not an optional fight. Once you get to a sector, you have to win that fight to proceed. Well, was the sector optional? Because I know if you go to like, you don't have you don't have to go to the true ending. Um, this guy's weapons aren't amazing. Firebomb always, I think. Put the firebomb. Artillery has its uses. Taking up a system slot is unforgivable. Unforgivable. 
like the Crucio curse. Cru Crucio, Crucio. That Harry Potter thing is an unforgivable system. Unforgivable. Good dodge. Random question. Okay, I'm ready. A random question on a random stream. Very fitting. Uh, artillery, let's see. Fed A does hold a special place in my heart. It was your very first one in the game. Nice. How are you, Rand? Great question. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I'm super. Thanks for asking. All things considered. It couldn't be better. How are you? There's my answer. Um, ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba. Level 2 Clomid doesn't do anything for us. Against the um, worrying radiation, but I guess I'll get it anyway. If you fully upgraded artillery and it only required two power to have the lowest charge possible instead of four power, how good would it be? Oh my god, I hate these questions. It's not like that, so it kind of doesn't matter. But if it were, what's the charge time? What's what's the lowest possible charge instead of four? Pa I don't. What wh I need more information. These questions about what if it was this? Would it be good? It's just. What if I had a million dollars? Well, then I'd be rich. It, it just... <laughs> it, it'd probably still be bad because it means you can't get hacking or cloaking for the last system. I just... I don't know. Sorry, I'm probably being a little mean here. But I, I, get the, I get the question about what would make artillery good all the time. And I just... Stop trying to make artillery good. It's not going to be good. It would have to be... You, you can't aim it and it's too slow. So it needs ridiculous amounts of changes for it to not be terrible. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you're doing pretty well. You haven't been by a stream for a bit. Glad you can turn in for FTL. Nice, glad to have you, my friend. I'm apparently yelling at chat again, which is, I guess, what I do. You like it in a weird way. Yeah, a lot of new players like it. Are you new to the game? I don't know. I guess what, what even is new? If it was two power for 20 seconds, if you still couldn't aim it, I think it'd still be terrible. Because 21 seconds is flak two, and it's considered pretty terrible by most people. Brindon says, with pause, making it need less power has very little, if any, difference, because you can pause, swap power from artillery to engines, and swap back. What would make artillery good? Replace it with hacking, cloaking, or mind control, yes. Rand, if you were a squirrel stuck in somebody's bathroom with a bad haircut, would you think artillery's good? Yes, totally. You've gotten a few wins in normal. You don't know if that's new or not. Yeah, I would say if you've only had a few wins in normal, that's fairly new. Yes. Uh, you're chilling if chat plays silly games. They win silly prizes. That dude on Reddit put Flack 2 as A tier. Yeah. All right, well, we did get a lot of jumps this sector, so this has been a very lucrative sector. Sorry, I... I shouldn't get upset when people ask questions like that. But the only way to make flak good is like some of the crazy viewership flaks that we've played where it's like for it to take up a system slot it has to be really crazy ridiculous. Because hacking and cloaking are really crazy ridiculous. So the versions of hack uh, of artillery that I've seen are good are like you know, they fire every 15 seconds and do eight, eight shots or something. So that they're basically a free shield hack every eight seconds or something. Like, it has to be really stinking good to not be a waste of a system slot. Sleeping Dragon even says Flak 2 is good while Artillery is bad. I would say Flak 2 is situationally good. And Artillery is hardly ever situationally not terrible. All right, so we're going into a dive. Let's get our fifth engine. I could get level two cloak in, but I don't think I need that for the dive. You must surpass new and become average. That's right. What if artillery is one drone part? It could be aimed in an enemy system to temporarily disable it with a cooldown. Would it be good? <laughs> you mean turn it into hacking? Sure. Then it wouldn't be terrible. Basically, change it into the system that it's not. Then it would be not terrible. I could probably cloak and not even need to use a drone part here. Only a three shield dive. Uh, 
Uh, artillery should have a fixed charge time, and the level should increase damage, you think? Be interesting. Here's a real question. Artillery without advanced addition. Um, do they cap your system slots at the same number? That would be my question. Because from what I remember, pre-advanced edition, you could buy all the systems every run. And those, those systems included teleporter. Although maybe you couldn't if you started with Fed and you couldn't get all the systems because artillery was there. I honestly don't remember because I don't play non-advanced edition. It would be fine if it maxed out at 3 power in 30 seconds. No, it wouldn't. It would be terrible because then it's still taking up an uh, system slot. That would be worse, right? That would still be worse. That's just making it worse. Three AE fed ships didn't get cloaking because they had artillery. Is that what it was? I don't know. Again, I don't play that version of the game. I don't play FTL beta. Uh, do I have long range scanners? We do. So let's go into the nebula. You meant 20 seconds instead of 4 power 20 seconds. So you mean same amount of charge time, but you get that charge time at 3 power instead of 4 power. I mean, it'd be better, but it's still locking you out of a system slot, so I don't know that it'd be not terrible. Man, chat's really gung-ho about trying to make artillery not bad today. <laughs> yeah, 3 power 20 seconds is a slightly better artillery that you can't aim. I mean, slightly better flak 2 that you can't aim. So worse, because you can't aim it. Uh, what are you hacking? I'm going to hack your shields anyway. I think some people just don't understand how bad it is to have offense you can't aim. I think that must be the issue. If it's really expensive and you can't, a can't aim it, it's just terrible. Maybe even the worst issue over the over expensive thing. The fact that you can't aim it means you can't stop enemies from doing damage to you. And one of the most important things in FTL is taking as little damage per fight as possible. Artillery, but every shot sets every room on fire. Hey, look at that. More free crew that we can... Alright. This is for... We, we're going to have... Another unwanted human. We have one named Stupid, and this one's just stupid. And this actually is a YouTube request to name a human stupid. So there you go. Do you have any training? I don't care. You're stupid. We'll probably vent you. What if it came with a free scrap of cubby arm? <laughs> free AE. You couldn't get all the systems on fed ships, but you could on everything else because there were only three systems total. Artillery is not really effective, but Rand forgets that most people play this game for fun. Artillery is tons of fun when it suddenly just ruins enemy ships. Well, if you're playing on lower difficulties, you can spend your scrap on whatever you want. It kind of doesn't matter. Um, but I'm talking about at the highest level of gameplay for trying to consistently win. Artillery is not a good system. You don't see how it's fun. It doesn't win fights at random target. It hits random targets. You aren't even making decisions. It's less interesting than auto-firing with NGA. Uh, hey, our defense drone. That's what I'm looking for. Sorry, when, when people ask, is something good, I think they mean, would I use it? And if I'm trying to win consistently on hard mode FTL, I would never choose to get artillery. And that's, that's kind of how I'm answering this question. If your idea of good is you can use it and win on easy difficulty, then you can kind of do whatever you want. And that's the fun of FTL. You can go double off into drones, drone recovery arm, every single run if you like. It's going to be hard some runs to find that, but you could do it every run if that's what you find fun. I just don't recommend it for consistent wins. Do I care about anything else here? Do I care about pre-igniter, terrible charge laser? Yeah, I don't really care about that. What did I just buy? I just bought a defense drone. Okay, cool. Artillery is best for accidentally finishing a phase one when you're trying to crew kill, but forget to depower it. That's it's what it's best at, right? All right, engage the pirate. Okay, he's got Ryan Intruder Annoyance. Take out my O2. 
Oh, come on, man. That's a new one. Uh, that's my secret rand. I use infinite scrap cheats and still lose on easy. <laughs> well done. Oh, he's going for my weapons. Oh, he's going for my weapons. This is bad. Well, my this fight's about to go a lot longer. These misses back up. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna take out those shields. Freaking eye on intruder drone, man! I hate these damn things. Alright, let the pirate escape. Grab the slugman. That's how you guarantee high scrap rewards. And there is a thing in my ship somewhere. Is it here? Okay, didn't take damage. I feel like flak artillery would occasionally be useful if it were on a ship that wasn't a boarding ship because you can at least use it to clear shields away. Hardy challenge sounds like the can't run from fights challenge or accept all surrenders challenge just removing player agency. Also, artillery is extra fun when you forget it and it kills your boarding crew just you're about to kill the enemy crew. Yeah, that's what it's best at. Gatling laser for the win. Uh, talking about uh, the Vulcan? Yeah. Slight defense in artillery. If you're struggling to find offensive upgrades, artillery shield pierce can allow you to focus on defense while you wait for offense to finally arrive. Yeah, I feel like that's the only argument that artillery is not terrible, is if you have a run where you never find stores with weapons and never get free weapons. Because theoretically, you could build a ship with decent defenses and let the artillery kill. I still don't think that's great defense, because if you have a run like that, you're probably pretty screwed because you're not buying systems either. Basically, you'd have to find... You'd have a run where you get all stores with no weapons, never get a free weapon, so you buy all the systems and artillery is the only offense. Even then, it'd probably be better to have a drone offense, to be honest. That's the one useful thing about it. You feel like the Fed B loss Rand had on a run 24 might have been a win if cloaking had turned up. Yeah. Focus on, or just get a get that upgraded and play super defensively. It's super... Um, not inefficient, but uh, suboptimal. But I guess technically you could get wins that way. Right, I don't have the mind control counter. Okay, that was a lot of dodges. Or I'm trying to not hack. Just hack, I guess. Just hack. Doesn't have cloaking. Uh, that was basically how you did the artillery challenge. Just did cloak hack cycle until the artillery killed every time. That sounds so boring. <laughs> how about that was a bunch of boring runs? I mean, super fun and interactive. Oh, crap. Holy free glaive beam. We've gotten two free glaive beams today. How random is that? I'm not saying it's great defense, but it's a small win for it. It is, in fact, really, really boring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anytime I do play a viewership where it's built all around a super OP artillery, it's fun and unique for a little bit, but then it's usually just me jumping and then waiting every fight. Maybe occasionally cloaking. It's a hurry up and wait kind of run every time, you know? Just... Artillery is not a super fun play style. Because, again, you don't get to aim it. You don't get to make any choices. You just power it and wait. You made it more interesting by at least allowing yourself to use weapons. You just couldn't upgrade off weapons, too. So you occasionally got to shoot a Leto at something. Super fun. A random Leto attack.
Alright, we got a fire in this random room. Alright, great job, Mini Beam, I guess. Nice. There's a pre-igniter at the store back there. True, but we're, again, we're waiting on hacking. Well, my weapons aren't great. Nah, too late. Too late. But you're right, we do have a pre-igniter in that store if I wanted to pre-ignite it. But still, if I'm waiting for hacking, meh. Uh, if you got to spoken, you need to run double glaive beam and find a pre-igniter. And there was one back at the store, sad. I think you had an ion bomb for even greater turtling power on your artillery only run, huh? Probably rely heavily on artillery on as is, no upgrade runs. Assuming those are possible at all. Okay. I've seen one store that's. The only other store we're gonna have in a nebula is a non nebula store, so we don't have any more stores. So, this is our build, unless I'm going glaze beam. 25 seconds. I think I'm going to go Glaive Beam. I think I'd rather use a Mini Beam than a Glaive Beam. Is that weird or is that just... the correct play? It feels weird to say that, but I feel like it's just better. Reignite a Glaive Beam, chat demands it. Too bad, too bad. Yay, Rock Blue option. Hacking shields a lot today. Oh, come on, game! Come on! <laughs> That's a new one, too. Uh... <laughs> I don't know how you go around finding all these clips, RPG, but it's hilarious. Okay. Oh, you set me on fire, bro. That's kind of rude. No double reward. I did not mean to vent you, human, but you should be grateful. Um, you don't think Mini Beam better than Glaive is a particular controversial opinion? Controversial opinion, chat. Flak one is better than Heavy Ion. Don't at me. Controversial. Yeah, okay. I figured most people would agree with that. <laughs> Except new players who love Glaive Beams, I guess. You will say, though, thank God the enemy doesn't have our artillery beam. Yeah, although it's so slow, it probably wouldn't even be that bad if you just get it offline quickly every time. Don't you love it when people have controversial opinions that aren't actually controversial? Controversial opinion. It's better to be rich than to be poor. Oh gosh, I'm so controversial on the internet. I know, it's the most powerful weapon ever made. Can kill some shots in a single swipe. Ships or something. How can Flak be better than the Heavy Ion? It doesn't even have the word heavy in its name. I know, right? Controversial opinion. It's better to be alive than dead. Oh my god. Who would ever disagree with such a controversial opinion? Glaive is a crappy win con, but at least it is a win con. Uh, true. Thankfully, we are not that desperate. Subscribing on our own. Thanks for subscribing to the uh, emos. <laughs> emos would disagree with that, huh? Hey, PT, thank you for the six months prime subage. Appreciate that. All right, we're living in the half power nebula. Living in a nebula. We have one, two, three, four. We have five jumps. Not a lot of shit fights over here. Controversial opinion the last Jedi was bad. <laughs> you take that back. Oh, wait, I agree with that statement. Okay, let's do this. 
Oh man, that was hard micro, and apparently I still failed it with dodging all that crap. Jesus, how did I not? How did I take damage there? Yes. 85% dodge is 0% dodge, I guess. We haven't had a good Star Wars sequel bashing lately, I guess. <laughs> I haven't watched any new YouTube videos about how bad it was, so I haven't felt the need to bash it. Lately, all the videos I've been watching have been Blizzard and Diablo 4 bashing and what else? Bad. Um, what do we call it? Vaporware, MMO bashing and that kind of thing. Uh, the last Jedi wasn't bad. It was an abomination. There you go. Well, I think we're going to be able to get fourth shield here. Let's just do it now. I don't think I can get any more stores. Um, the only real argument about Last Jedi is you now realize there are people that have no idea what is a Mary Sue and why it's bad lazy writing, huh? Last Jedi is fine. Thank you for the most lukewarm opinion ever. It is just okay and not good or terrible. Controversial opinion. Okay, we got a double fire. That's good. Put that. Oh, come on, man. These fucking I'll be dodges. honest. When I first saw Last Jedi, I actually didn't think it was bad. I thought it was, oh, hey. It's not the prequels. Yay. And then... Ryan Johnson. You should have zero goddamn dodge. That's the shit. real issue. The real issue is Ryan Johnson and... The Last Skywalker or whatever the hell. Return of Skywalker. Rise of whatever. That's the real issue. To me, that's the real issue. Last Jedi was still had the issue of the whole Mary Sue thing, but... Ryan Johnson ruined my childhood by making Luke Skywalker the most pitiful character ever. You started watching a new Uto YouTuber. Blind playthrough of Subnautica. They're addictive since you can't play it for the first time again. Yeah, my brother loves watching wild... Uh, What's the space one with the different planets that each have a different thing? Outer Wilds? Outer Wilds. My brother loved, or for a while was doing that. You'd rather watch Last Jedi than Rise of Skywalker, which is excessively ass. I agree. There's a new update to Subnautica that apparently made this Leviathan hyper scary. Kind of makes you want to replay it, huh? All right, well, people really are going off about Last Jedi. Uh, Outer Wilds, yeah. Rise of Skywalker is basically very desperate scurrying towards a security blanket. I'm quite sure what that means. Okay, what am I doing here? Um, I guess this is my final build here. I don't think I'm going to use a glade beam. just too slow. Okay. My friend Tim mentioned something about a Subnautica 2. Is that real, or was he just really late on the fact that Sub-Zero or Below Zero was a thing? Are they, did they announce, or are they working on a Subnautica 2? I feel like maybe that's true. Rise of Skywalker was what you got when you lay a sheet over a bed covered in vomit by your drunk friend and then try to sleep on it. <laughs> oh, it just keeps getting worse. Oh, oh. Every time I move, it's worse. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that might be the best description I've ever heard of Rise of Skywalker. Subnautica Below Zero is number two. There's a DLC. Yeah. Uh, Subnautica, you should really replay it now in 2K and 165 hertz. Nice. Okay, finally uh, one good weapon, but is it actually good when I only have three weapon slots? Uh, I don't think it is. I think I just buy a reloader. I could have two reloaders and a glaive beam. 
meh. My plan for phase one of the boss is firebomb, whole laser, mini beam for crew killing. And then we swap firebomb for charge laser after phase one. Such a beautiful game, Subnautica. Burst Laser 3 Glaive is the obvious build, obviously. Could do it, but it's just not good. I don't really like it better than what I have. Uh, I could buy a hull repair for after phase one or two. So we're spending the scrap on that. I guess it's insurance. But it's expensive insurance when I still would like to get some power. I guess I'm not actually going to upgrade that much more of my ship. Alright, let's get some really expensive insurance chat. Really expensive insurance. Stealth weapons and long range scanners. Oh, was that an option? Meh. Meh. Probably would be good, but meh. Yeah, we have a defense drone. It's behind my head, apparently. Right. Hold up you all. Right, he has a missile. So we should try to crew the field this if we can. Fires. Okay, we got some fires. So we start to crew kill. Go fuck yourself, FTL. On these ships when we don't have uh, mind control, the hell it feels like. I feel like I'm probably gonna do too much damage. Nice job. We got a Carl drone over here. Didn't get another fire. So I need to. Uh, I need to do some. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was. I would need to do a bunch of uh, bio swipes to finish that. So, not enough time happens today. Subnautica in VR is next level. I would actually be terrified of Subnautica in VR. Um, the one, like, scary dream I remember as a kid is being super deep underwater so deep that I can't see the surface, it's all dark and I can't see anything, like, is that facilophobia thing? Like, I don't know if I could handle, uh, Subnautica in VR, to be honest. Hitman is in VR too, you do want to give that a go. You've actually done scuba diving and it's the closest video game you've ever played to the real thing. I've done scuba diving and I don't know that I would call Subnautica that close to the real thing. <laughs> Uh, to be honest. Uh, real scuba diving, you have to decompress a lot. And there is no decompressing in... There is no decompressing in Subnautica. You can't just go from the deepest to the most shallow instantly and have no repercussions. You will get the bends, as they call it. And there is no... You don't get any of the bends in Subnautica. Oh, I was hoping to kill that guy. And I'm sure that's not the only thing that's not realistic about it. Uh, in VR it is? Oh, okay. Well, maybe in VR it's realistic. I haven't tried that. I thought you meant just in general. Sound design in Sonatica makes it feel as close with the bubbles gurgling and stuff. Was I a deco driver? Deco. I don't know what a deco diver is, but I've only been when I first when I went to Puerto Vallarta years ago with my ex. I did one of these intro to um, scuba diving classes, and I thought it was super cool. Well, it wasn't really class. They just you do really shallow diving, and I thought it was really cool. And then. Not last summer, but the previous summer, or maybe it was last summer, my gift to myself was I went and took uh, scuba diving lessons. Now, I will say scuba diving in Texas is not super amazing. It was just a muddy hole that I went to, but I am now um, 
PATI certified. I think that's what it's called. P-A-T-I. P-A-T-I certified to go, go diving. Although you're supposed to refresh it. So if I actually went somewhere to dive, I'd probably have to get that refreshed since it's been a year or two. Yeah, P-A-D-I. That's what it is. You got diving ear the one time you went scuba diving, had a headache all day from it, sucked. Yeah, I have I have ear pressure issues as well. I guess I'm speaking of diving going here. Can you ask what a good ship to start trying hard mode on would be? Uh, some of my favorite ships, Stark Fawful, are Stealth A, Zoltan A, Kestrel A, and anything that starts with hacking. Those would be some of my suggestions. I'm gonna turn on a defense drone and then not do anything else to hopefully not have to get any cooldowns going here. Okay, now my cloaking will be on cooldown, but I think. <clears throat> I think that'll be okay. Oh, I can't swap to my firebomb before phase one. Oh, I can't swap to firebomb. Damn it. Uh, Texas has a lot of mud holes. Got to travel way out to get to the good spots. You nailed all three of his choices. Someone just accepted my F off price for a project. What? Your uncle is one of those Grandmaster drivers licensed to solo. He used to go get calls for search and rescue when he was younger. That's crazy. I might have to jump away to get Firebomb on my bar. We'll see how this phase starts. See what he hacks. Engine hack. We might be able to get some good crew kills just with the whole laser mini beam charge laser. Might not be terrible. Although I need these guys to not be stuck in these rooms, I feel like. Oh, Why? He dodged every dodge. shot. Oh, I hate this fucking game. Let's see what kind of fires we get for this first volley. Okay, double fire. It's not bad, not bad. Start on Crystal B because it needs so little scrap. There you go. Crystal B is probably a good starting ship. Oh, come oh, on. Man. Doge? Yeah, you need to be a good doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. <laughs> kill, triple kill. Triple, 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 triple kill. <laughs> I did that that doge one. Oh, we might get a couple side room bug crew kills there. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. So good. Um... I need side room bug to get any more kills here. Hmm, how do I do it? Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Why are my fucking shields down? Apparently triple hit with no fucking dodges. That must be the reason. Okay, is somebody in side room bug for me to crew kill right now? I don't think they are. And I don't think I can get him to do that without my control. Uh, I know and I have caved with some very hardcore cave divers, and most of them are still alive. No way they'll leave, yeah. We did not get the crew kills I was hoping for, phase one. Um, we got some... If I hack shields phase two, I might get a couple more. I don't know if I want to swap to fire. You know what? I think I do want to swap to fire bomb. Let's do this phase two. Uh, we have four shields for the drone thing, and we have the anti-drone things, anti-drone drone. So hopefully it'll be okay. Could have bias watch to try to start some fires. Yeah, maybe I could have done that. Damn, extra scrap. Cave diving is lunacy. I, w I would love to do cave diving, but I would want to do it with some really good gear and some really experienced people. Okay, 
this. We have to deal with the boarding drone. Well, we might not have to deal with the boarding drone, depending on how well our drones do. The dangerous hobby at the sharp end of the exploration. Yeah, and I'd need a lot of training before I did that, too, because it's it is definitely not not a super safe thing. Wow, what a start. Just kill my anti-drone immediately. Oh, we shot down two of his missiles, I think. Nice. Okay, cloak. This. All right, I think we might actually get some good crew kills here. Start a bunch more fires. So many fires. Let's get this down. Let's get that on fire. I'm not going to have poking until now. Good. Okay. Okay, that should kill that guy, and then this guy hopefully doesn't die. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful phase two. Very nice. Now we're now we're safe. He won't dodge us. Uh, he won't board us, and we just have to deal with the mind control. You get into cave diving. You do not skimp on the training. Yeah. You would do cave diving, but would not go anywhere with a tight squeeze, yeah. Uh, my uncle would tell us any type of diving will get dangerous once you start to panic. That's really the key reason to want many years of experience under your belt, so you don't panic in the worst situation. Yeah. I, it, I would need a lot of training. Because, like, if it gets super dark and you get lost, I could easily see how you start panicking and have, you know, really a really bad time. So, yeah. The training, the experience, all that stuff. Alright, so let me do this, let me do this, and let me do this. 26 scrap gets me. Hey! Value point there. Use repair drone, good call. Good call. I have 10 drone parts. Firebomb the hero. That was a clean phase two, yeah. One of the best cave divers in the world who's your friend surfaced from his assessment dive 45 minutes after his air should theoretically run out, if I recall. Ooh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's scary to think about, yeah. Okay. Alright, we just leave you there. And I vent you. Go on the shields, then yes, we don't poke this. Yeah. Fuck you, FTL. Yeah, Fuck dodge. you. Give me some dodge. fucking dodges, you shitty piece of shit. Um, that's not ideal. Okay, we're through at least. Oh, Why? He dodged man, every fucking, fucking shit. That's a lot of sounds. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll just do that, even though it's not that good of a only level one hack. Okay. Okay. What the fuck, man? Fuck the actual Give me some fucking dodges, you shitty piece of shit. All right, all right. All right, fast ran. Settle down. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. No cloaking here. That should be GGG. I G -G. hate this game. GG cookie time. Stealth C. Good to get it out of the way early, although not as bad as Stealth B. You've done wreck diving, night deep currents, algae, blackouts. You'll absolutely not do cave diving. Okay. Well, then maybe it's scarier than I think it is. Uh, I realized he was lost. Instead of panicking, using more air, he managed to slow down his breathing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see what that score is. 6135, baby. Exactly 2,000 scrap. Now that's random. That was a terrible Sector 8. 
as I talk with my mouth full. Thankfully, the rest of the run was amazing. But terrible, Sector 8. All right. There you go. Congrats, two believers. That is four in a row now, I think. Stealth C down. Stealth C. That is a win. All right. Well, that was a good day. We got two wins in. So uh, it helps when it helps when I don't get hit by missiles all the time. So, uh, my friends, I think before I end the stream, as a memory to um, Scott Wednesday Wilson, we'll watch a couple of his clips that were linked earlier together. But if anybody's not going to hang out with that, thank you for hanging out. Hope you get the follow. Thank you for the bits, follow subs, all that stuff. But uh, we'll end the stream by watching a couple video, a couple of in memoriam Scott Wednesday Wilson videos here. So let me get that set up real quick. Uh, wrong button. Let me see if I can pull up these links here. Hello from Germany. Hello, Lofado. Glad to have you. Let's see. Let's let's in memoriam Scott Wednesday Wilson. Um, let's see if I can find this clip. Can I link it in chat to make this easier for me? Uh, when I'm on three PCs, sometimes it's hard to get an exact clip I'm trying to find. So share. Uh, let's see. Copy, paste. All right, so this one is called Take Care When Using Speed Hacks. Let's, let's, uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, that one didn't work. That one didn't work. This clip. Here we go. He's speed hacking. Holy crap. Okay, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. <laughs> that went really fast. He takes he takes the surrender of a uh, Zoltan and Holy crap. He inst <laughs> He insta kills him. <laughs> uh he passed away, Bacon Buyer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the whole story. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Instavented Zoltan. <laughs> uh, let's watch that again. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so good. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh, that's amazing. All right, we got one more. We got one more clip here. Uh and this one's just titled, Oh No. Oh no, let's see what this one is. I think he accidentally sold a weapon he didn't mean to. Yeah, it takes him no time to realize what happened, yeah. Uh, okay, let's see this one. All right, so he has dual laser burst laser. Wait, what did he just sell? I just, oh my god, I sold my dual lasers. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> he sold dual lasers instead of burst laser. <laughs> why, were they, why were they over here? Uh, oh, that's sad. <laughs> he just looks confused. Hold on a sec. He sells. He moved firebomb. Oh, that was weird. Hold on a second. He had a, hold on, let's watch that in slow motion. You said something about him having a funky mouse? Let's watch this in slow motion. Did he already do it? He grabs Firebomb. It moves. Wow, that is weird. I like had a phantom mouse click. The firebomb. Wow. <laughs> that is a weird messed up click. All right, Mike Copley's got another one here. There is another one. Well, that was just... Yo, dog, get a better mouse. Your mouse sucks. It looks like you needed a better mouse there. <laughs> Let's watch this one. Lol carried. What happened on this one? 
Black, burst laser two, burst laser two. I'm watching in slow motion. Perfect timing on his weapons. Yeah, for everyone saying lol carried. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> that's great. That's great. For everyone saying lol carried. <laughs> Uh. Now, for everyone saying lol carried. This is what I call a quadruple reward. Although this might be quintuple reward. <laughs> that was free crew, free weapon, free drone, double scrap reward. That's like a quintuple. Quint quintuple. Quintuple reward. Uh, rest in peace, Scott. That is so great. Uh, here's everything you need to win in one reward, I know. That's everyday RNG for Rand, because he's streamer luck. Totally rigged, not even good, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that was a great way to end the stream. Thank you, Mike, for those clips. Good old Scott Onesie Wilson, one of the OG FTL players out there. OG, um, OG Hard Monopod Streaker. So, my friends, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you all for watching. We'll do some more FTL on Thursday as usual. You all make this a blast. And remember to hug your friends and enjoy your time when you're here. Because we're all just stupid humans who will get vented. So we need to enjoy that time while we're here. So uh, as usual, you all are amazing. Have a great rest of your night. I will see you all for some WoW tomorrow. And enjoy this sea shanty. Until next time, peace out. Happy gaming. Love you, for you wonderful, awesome people. See you all later, my friends. Later, all. <laughs>